I just found this article. It was printed and posted back on January the 20th, 2015. So it's about a month old. And the title of it is Pentagon Secret. The Anunnaki are returning. The Anunnaki may be returning to Earth according to the one recent interview from a man with inside Pentagon sources. According to Stan Deyo, that's D-E-Y-O, the buzzword around the Pentagon is that the Sumerian gods are returning back to Earth. Uh, the article goes on to break it down by saying Anunnaki ties to comets Ison and Inki. Okay, with two well-known celestial objects on the horizon, one must question why the comets Ison and Inki were given those particular names. The word, the word on is associated with the word on, pronounced on, as in Anunnaki, and one of their leaders, Anu. The prefix for Ison would be is, as in Isis, who is the name character in folklore as Inanna and the Sumerian goddess Ishtar. So if you separate the word Ison to become I-S plus O-N, you get Ishtar of the Anunnaki. So that is the meaning of Ison. Okay, further, the article states that common Enki is much more obvious to those who have studied the Anunnaki. Enki, as in common Enki, was a Sumerian god who was later referred to as Ur, as in why our planet is as in why our planet is called Earth. Enki was a deity of crafts, mischiefs, water, seawater, lake water, intelligence, and creation. Okay, Western sky UFO equals Anunnaki. This is another paragraph from starting. Many people are looking toward the western skies at an anomaly we can only call a UFO, as there are no major stars or planets in this particular area of the sky, according to cell phone app SkyEye or Sol Solarium. Some believe this UFO may possible be a Pleiadian or Arcturian ship, but it is also possible that it might be the return of the Anunnaki. All right. Hmm. As evidence from many reports and videos from all around the globe, this UFO changes color and eyes and shape. Various sacred geometry shapes can be detected from this UFO and the colors will change intermittently. In this UFO is the Anunnaki. Expect all governments to ensure that a new star will be placed on sky, eye, and still applications to cover up the fact that we are not alone in the galaxy or universe. So apparently this app, Sky Eye and Solarium, gives you um, celestial um, navigation if you um, download it. I didn't know these two apps existed. Okay, so the article goes on to say, for some people, this would be too much for them to swallow. Others will deny what is happening, but for those who have the capability to look outside the box, all possibilities exist without fear or apprehension.
Now this hasn't been, I don't remember this even being covered. This could have been covered on mainstream media, I'm not sure. I may have just missed it. And when I say mainstream media, I mean television. All right, so the bottom half of this article, it says that um, governments rarely tell us the truth and cover up their trails with excuses of the information being confidential or a security risk. So it is quite possible that most governments know about the return of the Anunnaki, yet fear telling the people because it would collapse their economic slave systems and world religion as we know them. So there's plenty of things happening right now around the world that could lead to the suggestion that the Anunnaki has already returned. Okay. Um, now here's a tale about the um, Anunnaki. So this is the, the bottom half of this article. In the Sumerian tale, Enki disobeyed his father Anu and loved the human creations. Enki and Anu have been at war ever since this betrayal. Anu was one of the creator gods who manipulated our DNA to make us slave workers who would mine the gold on this planet for the Anunnaki. And then it says, regardless of how this plays out, people are awakening to the tyranny and oppression of all governments and are realizing that our current ways of life are unsustainable through fiat currency and our current economic slave system. Right? So what I'm gonna do is post a link to this and pretty much People are hearing booms and noises in the sky and parts of um, the region of the U.S. today and internationally. And it's possible that governments could already be at war with the Anunnaki trying to ward them off. So there's a lot of strange things happening. Also, there's been a lot of bright lights in the sky, um, looking like meteors, could be rockets. Um, one mainstream media saying it was rock it was a, a chinese you know chinese rocket other mainstream media are saying it was a meteor so there's a lot of this going on a lot of rattling of the floor vibration of the floors and rattling of the windows loud boom noises all across the u.s right now and some of them have been reported internationally too as in canada and uk and other parts of the world so it's possible that the anunnaki have already landed and the governments are keeping it out of mainstream media and not telling average folk because of panic. Widespread, uh, widespread panic. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to post this vid and leave the links. And thank you for viewing. Please comment and subscribe.